but starting the show off tonight, one of the best bands ever to come out of Belfast with their massive hit, Broken Land. Here are the adventures.
So there we go, the adventures with a broken land and uh, Terry Sharp from the band joins me in the studio. Terry, how are you, sir? Hello and happy, 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 happy everything. Last time we were working together was a massive uh, charity gig somewhere. Up at the Ramada Hotel, wasn't it? That's the one, uh, yeah. It must be 10 years ago, yeah. You guys right. rocked the place. Yeah, I think so. Um, and forgive me, I may or may not have said cheerio to you at the end of it, but I was probably <laughs> drinking beer, feeling a little bit more unsteady. I think so. After the show, of course. After the show. After <laughs> of the course. Show. Yeah, but that, that song, Broken Land, still rocks the place no matter when. Yeah. And everybody knows it right from the first piano bits at the start of it. It's one of those songs you go, that's, that's right. Broken Land. That's right. It just, just pulls you into it, you know, and that's why I think it was so popular on the radio as well. Yeah. You know, people got, just got played to death, you know, all over the place. Did you realise how big it was going to be? We knew we'd made a great record, mm -hmm. and I knew that I'd sang it really well and all that kind of thing, but you never know because we, we, you know, you think you make you make a great record. You know, every time you make a record, you think you're doing your very, very best. But yeah. you've, you've got no way of judging the, uh, you know, how people are. Good. There's so many other different things that getting a hit record depends upon. You know, um, if the people on the radio like it, or if you're, you know, if you can get it on TV, all those kinds of things. So it's all very, very political, and it all. It, but it helps, of course, if you've got a great song, yeah. which we knew we had. And of course, you were working with uh, Simon Fuller back in the day as well, way before mm -hmm. Spice Girls fame and stuff. That's right. You? Yeah, yeah, yes. That was actually the first music business meeting we had was with with Simon Fuller when he was in uh, he was in his office in a tiny little office at Chrysalis Publishing, you know. And his, we only got to meet him because the other guy that we'd arranged the meeting with had to go and see a band up north somewhere. Right. And he called us and said, look, listen, I, but the, uh, my assistant, Simon, is, is here. He'll, he'll see you and he's great, you know, and blah, 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 blah. And uh, we went in and sort of, like, he didn't have much time. He said, look, there's our demo, you know, hope you like it. And sort of give us a ring when you've heard it. You know, nothing, we're not hear from him. Or if we did, we'd maybe get a, a letter, a very polite, you know, whatever. But uh, I got home and the phone was ringing, you know, and he said, yeah, yeah, I really love this, you know, come down, you know, and that was the start of our um, association with Simon. So yeah. once you had the big success with Broken Land, what was it like? Was it, was it touring the world? Was it all glamour and showbiz? It was mostly, uh, you know, doing TV things. In fact, when, I, when we uh, play it, every time we, uh, we play it or I hear it in the radio, it just reminds me of just going to places like Italy and Germany and all these places to to mine to it, <laughs> you know, weird. And uh, yeah, good, good, very, very uh, good fun times. And we've got to talk about the gigs that are coming up in mm -hmm. January in the Empire. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, we're doing, we're doing two shows, fourth and fifth at the Empire. And uh, we've been rehearsing for the shows and it's all sounding really, really good. So um, we're really looking forward to it, you know. And you've got our good friend Joby Fox. So yeah, Joby's going to be supporting us, and uh, I think he's going to be playing his new album, you yes. know, which really, and also a few songs that he wrote when he was with Energy Orchard as well. So he's got a, he's got a few hits. So these gigs at the Empire they're being billed as uh, your final gig. Is this the final final gig for the Adventures, or might you come back five years down the line? Do you never close the door on anything. Robin, um, and I think, uh, I suspect maybe the venue or the agent or someone like that is trying to sell tickets or promote it or something, you know, but um, no, we never close the door on anything, so. Brilliant. We okay. may be back. You Good, know. let's hope so. Well, make sure they get their tickets for um, the gig at the Empire. Terry, have a great night there. My gonna, pleasure, Robin, thank you're you. You're gonna do one more song for us before you go. What are you gonna do this time? I'm gonna do uh, a tune called Washington Deceased. Which Great is title. from our yeah, it's from our third album. What was the story third behind album. this one? Um, uh, well, it was uh, my colleague Pat who wrote the tune, and um, it's I suppose it's a slightly anti-American thing, you know. <laughs> but um, you see, you can't walk two blocks in the states without seeing somebody begging or homeless, yeah. and uh, land of the free, home of the brave, home of the brave. Well, maybe not. All right. But th that's that's the kind of 
the, the thing of it, you know. Terry, thank you for joining us and have yourself a great Christmas. My pleasure, Robin, and you. Thank you. So here we go. One more time. Here are the adventures. Won't you look into the street? No wave, no smile, no wink of the eye. That's not the stuff we need. Still pretending you're on top of the world, from Bedford Falls to Rome. Before you dish out know, the apple pie, get your laundry done at home. Oh, can't you hear me? I need some form of release. Life's not for living here. To feast your eyes, just take a walk into the center of the city. Say your prayer for Washington deceased. Washington deceased. A grandpa killed a thousand Indians when he fought the old frontier. Rambo gives it to the Viet Cong with a message loud and clear. Here in your backyard, the cracking and the jacket to stumble through the day. Beat them, cheat them, but never ever meet them just to hope they go away. What oh, can't you hear me? I need some form of release. Life's not forgiven here. Adjust your eyes and take a walk into the center of the city. Say a prayer for Washington, D.C. Washington deceased When you're this close, the world changes your pretty. Give us hope, but don't give us your pity. Say a prayer for Washington deceased. Washington deceased. Washington deceased. Rest in peace, Washington deceased. 